Hey guys, what's up? Liru here. Uh, I'm behind the scenes on the 506 server right now. Um, I'm just making this quick recording to kind of show off how I made this mission. Because as you can see, or as you've seen by now... Damn it. Okay, uh, he needs to be changed out. I need to re-enable the simulation on him. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, for all these textures to do things this way you know to make it look realistic there's been a lot of stuff i've had to do behind the scenes with the zeus interface and i'm going to show off a bit of that so first off let me explain how i got these boats up here um really it's just a matter of enabling disabling simulation disable the simulation on the boats and then line them up with the uh the ramp so i can make it look like i'm loading the vehicles into these boats and i've got a uh, stuff in here to make it you know look realistic i know they do clip a little bit into the uh, boat right here it's because when you put a boat texture over it just it made it wobbly like you can see it's like it's flat right here and then it wobbles it so right click to cancel it's a pain in the butt but i want to talk about how i got these infantry to work so you just garrison a squad so they're all squatted up uh, I used the local buildings over here. I just put a squad down, hit garrison, I moved them over. Individually disable the simulation on each one, because normally if you put a AI down, got to make sure they don't float as well. Got to line them up just right. Like I said, I've spent a very good deal of time setting up this fucking mission. Planning it every single fucking detail. But if I were to, like, take a regular infantry, if I just copy-paste like this, put him on, he'd float on the damn texture because this thing isn't made properly. So, in order to make it look realistic, you got to disable simulation, get the units that look correct, then you can just stack them on the boat. And then what I want to do is when shit starts hitting the fan, I'm just going to quickly enable the simulation on all of them including the things inside and then you know shit will blow up and it'll look so cool so we're just uh peeking everything over uh in terms of some other background things that are gonna shit didn't mean for you to do that <laughs> okay well uh it's not really gonna be useful now um just have a few guards you know around on the boat you know make it look like there's people on the fucking boats but in terms of everything else it's gonna really be uh things coming in right here they you know pick specific spots within this dry dock explosives are triggered and the explosives that'll be put down on uh where things are you know wherever uh you're gonna see that they are open urals let me quickly go to one Because uh, the AAF, or I'm sorry, the Ultra Nationalist faction here, uh, doesn't have a damn uh, ammo URL. So what I've decided to do is I'll just do Nobody an open, it. and then I'll take a few uh, ammo caches of whatever, and I'll stack them in the back. I could use GAZs, but I'm too cheap like that. So, you know, stack them in the back, or I might just use GAZs. I don't know, but I want it to look realistic, and there's also, you know, a few fuel ones, so... Put charges will be put down they'll be deaded here and then we'll just have a nice little domino effect of explosions i'll re-enable simulation everything will be on fire it'll be great so that's all i got that's all i wanted to say behind the scenes this is going to be fun so thank you guys so much for watching go operate operationally and take care